Show Off Radio, RIP Radio Network. Shout out to the home team, Soundcast.fm in Brooklyn, New York. I already know what it is. But um, we're here live Hi, at I'm home lit. base headquarters. You know what I'm saying? RIP Radio Network in uh, Baltimore, Maryland. You already know what it is, man. We're here, man. We're here. We definitely are. I am fucked up, man. I ain't gonna hold you up. I've been drinking Henny, Honey Jack. There's some other uh, non Hennessy disclaimers uh, over there. Paraphernalia and all I don't know what that fucking thing is, but I'm sure it tastes just like Hennessy. Yeah. Oh man, listen, people, uh, we got our, our, our second guest of the evening. You know what I'm saying? Shit. It's a conglomerate. You know what I'm saying? So there's a, there's a bunch of niggas in the room right now. I ain't going to hold you. There's a lot of niggas. Yeah, we're gonna try to bring up as much of the team as possible. Yeah, we're gonna try to bring up as much of the team as possible. But whenever I'm in the DMV, you know what I'm saying? I always gotta show love to uh, A Game Records in the building. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I met them like what, three, four, almost five years ago? I don't think it was that long. Has it been that long? I don't think it was that long. It might have, yeah, two or three, I think. About two or three years ago, I met them in the, in the fucking parking lot with, with alcohol, and it's been nothing but so, love ever since. Sounds like exactly. some South <laughs> shit. This is some South <laughs> shit. <laughs> no, I'm with it. Uh, I actually, cra- I actually I like crashed that, one of their interviews, you know what I'm saying, on, on one of the shows on the Radio Network, and uh, it's been love ever since. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So anytime I'm down here, I definitely got to mess with them. Oh, shit, yeah. we got to come up there and fuck with y'all in New York. I mean, yo, we here in Brooklyn, New York. You already know what it is, man. We there. You we know what I'm saying? The rent is high in New York. High 97. We just gonna rush that. Just, joint just, and just I mean, you, you know what time we there? Saturday is 9, thir- 9 to 11, so you know, we there. You know what I'm saying? But, um, people, I need everybody to give a big, uh, Rip Radio, uh, show off radio. Uh, uh, welcome to my man G Live A Game Records. Nice to be here. Pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. What's going on, sir? Not much, not much. Gearing up for the new work this year. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we started it off, um, I put out the release video in March, uh, off of the Appetizer Project. Yes. I mean, I got another project in the works in between the album that's coming out. Right, right, right. Vinny working. I knew R&B artist Saxo working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. And we got we got to talk to him too. Oh yeah, yeah. He here, he here. Y'all but um, be, before but be... before we get to uh, you know to all of that, you know what I'm saying? I want to introduce you to my new team because it's a brand new team. You know, from the last time we met. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Um, sitting to your right is my uh uh, uh my loose cannon. <laughs> I always gotta think about it all the time because you know what I'm, I'm saying? Trying to be politically it, correct. Yeah, like, always, like, always. Just say that shit. You know what I'm saying? The uh, wild, the wild the, nigga in the, the wild, the wild child. You know what I'm saying? The, the queen of misappropriations. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got my girl T bags in the building, Mr. Nice Wanna. Nice to meet you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> my girl T bags. We're not gonna talk about that name tonight. <laughs> no, we're not. not. Do it. That's, a, that's an off air conversation. We're not people. gonna do that tonight. You know what I'm saying? Nope. And, and sitting to my right, we have my trap queen L Bugs. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? My man G La of A Game Records. You know what I'm saying? So, um, for people that don't know, like again, just, just give them a quick overview of everything that you got going and uh, the A-Game Records movement. Let's see. Quick overview. Um, indie label based out of Virginia. Like I said, uh, the uh, my first solo mixtape came out uh, about a year or two ago. I released the first video off of it in March. Uh, I got another project coming out before the album. Uh, my co-CEO and artist on the label as well, Benny. Got two projects coming out. Saxo already finished his first one. We putting the final touches on that one. About to shoot a video for the single. Okay. Uh, after that, we're dropping another project. We got joint projects together coming out. Getting Nightmare back in the stool. And of course, you know, the man, the myth, the legend. Hype is in the building too. Oh. The man behind the boards. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> you already know what it is, man. Shout out to Broadway and Ill Soup, too. They couldn't make it today. Bro. Hey, listen, man. It's, it's, it's all good. Whenever we're here in the DMV, you know, you know what I'm saying? We got to have you in. You know what I'm saying? So, um... Just uh, just uh, give us a um, uh, I guess another like I guess quick overview of just like you know things that you personally working on and uh, you know how how you've been developing yourself as an uh, artist as opposed to the, uh, the you know one of the brains behind the A Game Records uh, movement. For the most part, I kind of stepped outside of the norm on the projects that's coming up. Like the first project is the Appetizer. The album that's coming out after is um, Soul Food. Music. Okay. But to bridge it and just to show the elevation and the growth, I decided to put out an EP in between it. It's called Just Because. Okay. Just, you know, felt like doing it. Got extra music in the studio more. Like, I know what's going to be on the album, but I'm not just going to let the rest of the stuff sit on the waistline. So. All right, all right. 
Plus, we got a um, couple of videographers that we're working with now. And like again, the video for release just came out in March. Uh, shout out to Tracy, the director who shot that one. All that got shot in one day in like about five to six hours. All right, that's now, I have, sorry. Now, why did you decide to name your projects the Appetizer and Sophie Music? Uh, the Appetizer, I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory. Just a little something to go ahead and tease you a little food for thought because honestly, the last time. Uh, my fans or anybody had heard me was on the first project that I put out, um, Heaven Sent, which was a collaboration project with my twin Mess. And other than that, I hadn't put out any project in probably about maybe 10 years. So the appetizer was my first solo offering. So, you know, just a little something to let, you, let people know that I'm still here, still doing this, so on and so forth. Um, the full name for the album is Starving Artist, so cool. Like, I mean, honestly, I'm an up-and-coming independent artist, so we got to do the 9 to 5 until the music actually jump off the way it is. There we go. So, there we go. You know, when Same it comes, thing with this radio shit, my nigga. Same shit. Same shit. We all got We all working for the man. Amen. We all working, <laughs> working for That's the just man. That's what, what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. man. Um, according to our producer here uh, in the studio, I have to do this because I'm not used to this shit. Because we don't, we don't do it, we don't do this here in New York. You know what I'm saying? New, New York, I don't, I don't have, I don't have, I don't have. You know what I'm saying? Somebody to like, all right, my nigga, like, yeah, you know man, like I don't do that shit in New York. <laughs> so what happens when you come to the corporate office? Yeah, yeah, this happens. <laughs> I, this, corporate, this corporate office is dope. You know what I'm saying? Because he's so quick in the shake. I was just shaking my titties over there. And, and, then, the and moment, everybody else seen you shaking your titties. This is nuts. I don't understand. Oh, uh, man. We, we got G Live video Trump. playing right now Trump. on, on uh, RipRadioNetwork.com. <laughs> oh, man. Um, but yeah, man, we gotta get to some to, to, to more cats on the uh, A Game Record uh, roster, man. Who, 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 who you got coming up next, man? Matter of fact, uh, let's go ahead and hear from Benny. Let him know. Who's, yeah, let man. him go ahead and talk. Let y'all know what he got in the works. All right, Benny, come on down, my man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, we next. Get, we definitely, <laughs> we definitely interviewed him a couple of months you know what ago. Yeah, tag, tag him right on in. What is happening? This is the phone interview. The country boy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, did. I don't. Can I? Can I? I'm gonna tell you something. I don't know what the fuck I be saying until. I don't know what I'm saying on these shows. But I'm probably saying some stupid shit. I know. It's okay. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. But we finally get to meet in person. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. sir. <laughs> you know what, what you been up to, sir? What's going on with you, man? That's ain't nothing wrong with that, man. What what, what what's new? What's new uh, on, on the home front, man? What's going on with you since uh, last time we talked to you? Uh, I think last time y'all talked to me, I had just dropped also three times. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. Say, uh, now I'm working on the new mixtape, long days, short months, and just enough. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Just some real cool shit, you mm-hmm. know, like. Like really experimenting with my new sound, okay. A new sound, you know what I mean? Just trying to find who I am as an artist all together. When artists say like you know they found a new sound, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, like what is what actually goes? What, what actually do you go through with that process? Like you know what I'm saying? With I guess uh, finding a new sound. Like how how do you just um, come up, go go about doing that? As far as like. You know what I'm Learning experiences. Yeah. Man. That's all that it is. Okay. Like, you know I mean, I feel like if you're an authentic artist, like, it reflects your everyday life. Like, okay. It, it, it just has to be organic like that. Anything else is just your butt nigga. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so, what is the new sound that you have? Because remember when we last interviewed you, yeah, you didn't I even wasn't think I even. Had skills like I that. didn't know you had skills. Like, I was like, this nigga from Virginia or this nigga's from <laughs> uh, like Brooklyn, that. New York? Yeah. Like, where the fuck he from? Like that. Like, yeah, I, I didn't know. know. Yeah. So, what kind of new sound are you? you have because I had no idea that you I mean, could spit like that. The bars are still there, but like this project, you're really going to hear a totally different side of me. Like I'm bringing in like the the spoken word aspect. Okay. I'm actually trying like harmonizing. Like I wouldn't say singing. I can't sing for shit. But like, <laughs> they know, they know, right. okay. like you do a little Drake, a little Drake. Put a little Drake on my something shit. Like, yeah. Something like, like that. that. A little <laughs> harmonizing. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Like I feel like every artist should really try to find themselves. Like know what you can and can't do. Like mm-hmm. you know what I mean your boundaries or whatever. Like so I just 
have fun with it. Like this project, I really feel that I freestyled like half of this project too. Mm -hmm. Like you know what I mean, just try to give everybody like a more Ooh. intimate me. You know what I mean, like the, the audience can get to know me better. Like it, everything isn't like written out or just I just go in and just mm -hmm. just do me for the most part. Like you know what I mean, just have fun with it. Okay. Right, that's what you're really gonna be hearing on this project. Like G Lab mentioned, also like we got joint projects. Like so, I'm like working overtime right now. Gotcha. You know what I mean? That's good. That's good. On top of being the co-CEO of an indie label, like yeah, I remember, uh, I remember you telling us that like, you were CEO, uh, co-CEO of the um, yeah, label. That's major. That's dope. That's, that's, that's dope. major. I mean, um, you know, not not to um, you know. Uh, I guess cut everything short, but you know, um, we want to hear some more from the um, the A game camp. Cool. Um, you know what I'm saying? Just just drop the uh, social media and stuff like that where people can get in contact with you and get more of you. Uh, Instagram, Tish Mice, that's Tate. What, what is it? T-E-J? M-I-C-E? -E? And you know that. <laughs> there you go. I remember. There you go. Oh. I'm going to relax, man. Relax. <laughs> um, I, I think I saw you like a couple of my pictures. I'm not, I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, like <laughs> double tap your shit. Like, out of your pictures, though. You be cooling how you be cooling, though. You, know, you got flavor. You got flavor. All right, ta ta tag one of your other members in, man. Oh, who are you tagging in next? I'm going to tag in the producer. Okay. Like the, our in-house producer. Like All right. Mr. Hyphen. Good Mr. Job, Hyphen was popping, sir. Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? Come on down, my man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Again, we got A-Game Records camp in the building. Right now in the microphone, you know what I'm saying? We got my man Hyphen in the building. What's popping, sir? What's going on? What's going on? Mm, nothing, man. Talk to me, man. What's going on with you, guy? You know what I'm saying? Man, I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. <laughs> all, this, all this music going on, man. I'm loving it. Talk, talk to me about the music with A-Game Records, man. Or, or, man. or you specifically. Um, me specifically, uh, you know, I started making beats. I'm going to say like I was 13. Okay. 26 now, so 13 years. Um, I met these guys back in 2012. And ever since then, we just clicked. Uh, this is the first time we had you on here, right? I believe this is the first yeah. time I had you on here, yeah. Yeah. But man. continue, man. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to no, no, you no, you good. You good. <laughs> But, um, you know, like I said, met him in 2012. We just clicked. And ever since then, we've been working. You know, my main focus is really trying to develop these guys as artists and push them to push the envelope. Right. I don't, I don't do media. I don't like, I don't like uh, familiar, familiarity. I don't like none of that. I want these guys to be different. Got gotcha. you. And that's what I do. I make them be different, even if they don't want to. Hey man, you know you have just like you said, you gotta push your envelope when it comes to that retrospect. You know what I'm saying? Um, I guess when it when it comes to that, like what what uh, um, steps are you taking for for them to to push the envelope? Like what what are you doing that 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 you feel that's different from other producers or whatever? I mean, in a sense, a lot of producers don't do artist development. They'll just okay, I got the do the, the art of art, artist development is 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 done deal, man. Like, like no, nobody cares. Nah, I, just, no. I, just, I, I just got these dudes. They're gonna rap on my beats, and that's it. That's it. No, that's no, it. You gonna rap how I want you to rap. Like, okay. No, because I believe that you can be so much better than what you actually think that's you are. Up. So we're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna lay this foundation. We, you gonna paint this canvas, and together we are gonna make this picture. That's what's up. That's what's up. I'm about that life. Yeah. Tell yeah. these niggas what to I do. Cause I feel, I feel like niggas just be getting on the track and going blah 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 blah. blah. It's the same. And it's just garbage. Like, and I think they just doing it for the money, and it's not so much of having a passion for it anymore. You know what? No, they got a passion. It's just a passion for some money, the lifestyle, the, the wrong shit. Which is doo doo. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> do you play instruments? Like, um, yeah, keyboard. I'm teaching myself to do guitar right now. Mm. You play by ear? Yes. Oh, nice. That's, oh, that's the best type. Yeah, you know best way. I'm with that. I, I, mean, learn. I, I learned it. Like, I'm not one of those, okay, you can just open up a book and here you go. No, I got to do it myself. I got to. So playing by ear was the only option. Because anytime I look at a sheet of music, it's like reading hieroglyphics. I don't know what I'm doing. So, you know, mm. I just found me. Alright, that's what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? I want to shout out my man Hyphen again. You know what I mean? Coming through and showing us some love. You know what I'm saying? Um, I need you to tag team one of your uh, next members up here. You know what I'm saying? I believe he's the newest, right? To the, to the A game camp. You know what I mean? RNG himself. Oh, RNG. That's some new shit. You know what I mean? I just 